Shade Hedda got away. He stabbed himself in the gut and disappeared. 715 is here. There are two episodes left of the hundred. This one is called The Dying of the Light. It was written by one of my favorite people in the world, my longtime friend and right-hand person, Kim Shumway. Hi, Kim. Hello. And it was directed by Ian Samoyle, longtime first AD, multiple episodes directed, including two this season. I love you, Clark. No! Maddie stabbed herself and disappeared and obviously went to Bardo. And we see now uh, the lengths that she will go to prevent a war. Bob! In the rotunda, obviously Miller saved everyone's life by throwing that bomb down the hall so that our people survive. <laughs> You know, they didn't all die as Cadigan had planned, but now they're stuck. And Clark being, you know, a woman of action immediately comes up with a plan of how they're gonna go over to Bardo and save Maddie. And then nothing happens. And so now Clark is stuck. And the thing about Clark is she doesn't like to not be doing things. So we get to see Clark in a cage a little bit, especially in an emotional cage, having to wrestle with the worry and the fear. What the hell was Maddie thinking? She just left without even talking to me. Sounds like someone else I know. Her daughter is really all she has left in terms of, I mean, of course she has her friends, but she lost her father, she lost her mother, she lost Lexa, she lost Bellamy, and Maddie is all she has left. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this to save my friends, my family. And the thing that was really important to me in this episode was giving Maddie agency. Obviously, it was her choice to stab herself, to give herself up to Cadigan, because she believed that, you know, he would never stop coming for her and her friends would keep dying, and she was unwilling to accept that. That was her reasoning. It was a heroic, noble thing to do. And in this episode, that continues where, you know, she's helping Cadigan for a time, and then the question becomes, once she realizes, you know, what's really going to happen, is she willing to allow it to continue? And so I really wanted to give her the ability to choose and the, the control over her own fate in a way that Lola was just amazing with. So all credit to her. She's such a talented young actress. It's also my 10th episode, Yay. which means that, well, yeah, which means that I've written 10% of the show, which is crazy to me. I think that's second only to you, Jason. How could it not be? It was also probably the most challenging episode that I have worked on for this show. Killing Gadigan won't change anything. He can't chase us if he's dead. You've seen Faith, Mother. You kill the commander, another takes her place. You kill the flame caper, another takes his place. Faith doesn't just die. There was a, a time during this episode where we were losing one of our actresses, Tati Gabrielle, who we love so much, but she might not have been available for the next episode. So we actually had to pare things back and literally shoot a scene that is not even in this show anymore just to protect ourselves in case we lost her. All that matters now is saving Maddie and killing Kat again. There's no last war or test. Bellamy's dead because he believed that crap, and I've heard enough. It has been one of the sort of, I don't know, pleasures of my, of my job, certainly, if not my life, to sort of see you from when you were my assistant, like, a hundred years ago, to now where you're ready to go run your own show, for sure. So, um, you know. Thank you so much. It's been such a joy and a pleasure being on this journey. I can't eat like a hundred episodes. I can't even believe it. Yeah, you know, know, it just, it was, I remember when you called me about this pilot and it was, should I do it? <laughs> like how crazy. And now it's a hundred episodes said, later. Yes. That's amazing. You should do it. You were definitely, I think I called you before I called my wife. You called me first, and I believe what I said was, yes, you should absolutely do it. I do not care how busy you are writing features. It will get on the air and go for five seasons. And I was wrong because it got on the air and went for seven seasons. It did. It did. Well, thank you for that. They tell me you're the best. I trust you. For all mankind. <laughs>